we'll start it off. So Minakshi says uh, the user is unable to delete a classic team SharePoint site. He gets a message that there is a con uh, conservation hold on it, but the hold was removed. We we're getting an error message. Sorry, something went wrong. This site collection can't be deleted because it contains sites that are included in an e-discovery hold or retention policy. On other sites where the hold was removed, we were able to delete the site without a problem, but for some sites, we cannot. Any idea how to overcome this issue? Yeah, so. Perseverance? I, I have, I know, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just keep going at it. I actually had it. this problem for one of my clients um, where there had been a hold placed and they were trying to delete things and they couldn't get it. I've run into this several times. Um, and the two things that he he says here that are probably kind of the key words to this is that um, the site that are included in the e-discovery hold or retention policy. So two things that will keep you from being able to delete things are e-discovery holds and retention policies. E-discovery holds have changed over the last few years. So anybody in the compliance world has noticed that all these holds have kind of changed and shifted. Well, there's several places that you can create a hold. So there is a regular um, area and there is an advanced area and you can actually have multiple holds set up in e-discovery. Um, in fact, you can actually set up a hold and during the process of all of that, if you set a hold and you didn't like remember where you put it, it might still be kind of hiding in one of those areas. So I would double check and make sure that all the holds have re been removed. And sometimes people will go into one and they'll remove it in the core, but not realize there was one in the advanced or vice versa. Um, so make sure it's been removed in all of the different places. Um, the other thing that it comments on here is a retention policy. So um, on the old SharePoint sites, you would go into lists and libraries and a classic list and library, and you could set up a retention policy. But a lot of times you didn't even know that a retention policy was set up um, because you had to go into the information manage, it was it information services and the list settings. I can see it in my mind. It's in the bottom right. Um, and you click on that and it would take you into retention policies and then you would have to go in there and you could actually set up retention policies. It was very, very common for people to go set it up on one one place. Um, so it's it's highly probable that they've got multiple things going on in multiple places that just haven't been cleared out that they just there's need to not, clean up. There's it's not got a, a problem with Klingons. To... <laughs> Call the Star Trek well, clue. Who <laughs> doesn't have problem with Klingons? No, but uh, you know, there's um, there's no way to go in with out of the box capability and look at an object and find out what all of those properties are, what holds are in place, what status it's uh, of all those different things. So that's one of the the strongest uh, uh, stories or, or 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 reasons behind some of the third party solutions that are out there that go and that allow you to look at a list item, a library item, a document, and look and say, see who owned it, what things are uh, you know policies are in place, what sensitivity labels have been applied, all of those rules. Is there anything that's binding uh, against this item? And then I feel like we need a testify to meme. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Testify. Testify. That's the third party value add. May apply yeah. the lens you want right on top of it. And can I think this is good, like the, see it. a theme with some of the questions that we're going to get to today is is uh, kind of comes back to this core thing of really like going and digging into and understanding like, uh, you know, what permissions, what uh, you know, all the different layers that can be applied. Um, yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots I'll of hidey two. holes, especially yeah. in the classic stuff. There's a ton of hidey holes where you can go into this and into this and into this and have set a setting that you don't realize ever got set. For those of you in the on-prem world, this is the Active Directory GPO application thing where there must be a GPO in place. We don't have any GPOs in place. And you go and look and eventually you find something that's buried under a bunch of uh, books with dust and bugs and yeah, they've got GPO in place. This is, this is the stuff like back in the, with the migrations where it's like, look, we should, you know, be able to go and migrate. Migration failed. And so when we develop the pre-migration analysis to start to identify this stuff and you do a run and you know, it's the 80, 20 rule, 80% of it's like, yeah, it'll migrate straight over 20%. No, it'll have problems. And you start digging in and you are like, Hey, I found all of these, 
these e-discovery, all these holds, these things that are on there, go and fix that stuff, run it again. Hey, another 5% went through, look at the next batch, batch of problems. And so that's why this stuff is, it's again, out of the box. It's not clean because people have the ability to go and fudge with it at different levels and move things around. So, yeah. Good times. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep digging. Keep digging.